lovely to meet you all and um, yeah so this is my first ever vlog for the channel uh, I've started to start a YouTube I've been contemplating doing it for ages um, and yeah I'm finally ready um, I deleted social media yesterday uh, I've got rid of it I deleted Instagram and Facebook um, I've kept Snapchat because I chat to a lot of my friends and family via that so yeah, deleted Instagram and Facebook. Um, I'm relieved actually. I think it's a like a fresh new start for me. Um, it just wasn't benefiting me in any way really. I also found myself sort of trying to conform to certain stuff like um, like what I'd wear and um, you know how I decorate my home, the things I'd buy. It'd be influenced by what I saw on social media instead of actually getting stuff because. I love it and I've fallen in love with it and like it and I'm just sort of sick of that rat race and I want to just embrace being me and buying the stuff that I actually like uh, even like, I don't care if people think you know it looks weird or stupid if, if I love it if I like it if it's a bold colour you know whatever I'm going to start doing that but instead of just you know like I've I found I've been buying so much stuff that's like neutral. I wanted to decorate my home in a neutral aesthetic way because that is like good. That's what's thriving on social media. And I'm just done. I'm done with it. I'm sick of it. So with my style, like what I'm wearing right now, like this co-ord set, I would never normally wear. Um, Cause it's just not me. And like, it's not really flattering on my shape. But I bought it because, again, lounge cords are like in at the moment and everyone seems to wear them and all this. And actually, like, don't get me wrong, I bought this and I'm absolutely loving this headband because I do nothing with my hair. So it's just a way of adding a little accessory. So yeah, very happy with that. Like, I actually... <sighs> my go-to outfit is leggings and like a vest top and a hoodie. And... I always thought to myself, oh, like, that's such, like, slummocks in it and all that. But then it's actually what I feel comfortable with. And, you know, I've tried changing it so I'm wearing these colours, But it's just not me. Like, I don't feel like I look good in it. Um, and, yeah, I'm just, I, I just want to stop. Like, I feel good in leggings and, you know, a jumper or a sweater. So I'm going to keep getting that. But the difference I'm going to make is I'm not going to get cheap crap versions you know like if I'm gonna wear leggings and jumpers and stuff every day I'm gonna invest in better branding so actually get say Nike and Adidas instead of just buying crappy brands that I don't know or like getting it off online shops that just aren't you know what I mean I just yeah so I want to invest in better style but I'm gonna make it so I'm wearing what I want to wear which is leggings and jumper you know what I mean? Like, these cards are just not me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing it to myself. But yes. And same with the house. Like I said, I feel like I've tried decorating certain areas due to social media and what I've seen on, say, Pinterest and all this stuff. And, yeah, what's good out there right now. And I'm just sick of it. I'm just done. I'm so, so done. Because I go out with my mum and we look around shops and stuff. And a lot of the time, I love stuff that's bold and, like, bright. And But I'm like, oh, it's not going to go with the house, though, and all this. And yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm just done. I'm just done with it. And, like I say, I end up spending so much time on social media. Um, even when I'm not even, like, looking for stuff. Like, it's a joke. I'll literally be watching something, and as soon as an advert comes on, I'm on my phone, on Instagram, scrolling for no reason. But I'm not even scrolling for anything specific. It's just a joke. I'm just... Yeah, fed up with it. And I feel like by coming off social media, I'm hoping I'm going to become a bit more present in my life. And I don't know, find enjoyment in small things I wouldn't normally find enjoyment in. Um, another big thing is that my mum and dad, uh, they've been together, <laughs> I don't know, 20, 30 years, like been married for God knows how long. And neither of them ever had social media. They still don't to this day, not even Facebook. Um, 
literally nothing. The closest they've got is WhatsApp. <laughs> and actually, no, I think my mum has Pinterest or something. Um, but they're the happiest and they're just the most joyful people I've ever met. And they don't have any of that. And I just, I want to be like them. They're so happy and content in their relationship, their lives. They're just so grateful for everything. And I really want to be like that. And I just feel like I don't, I don't need social media. I really don't. Because I think the best way to sort of find happiness in myself is to just be who I want to be and not be influenced by anyone else. So yeah, that's the reason I guess I'm coming off it. Don't get me wrong, I do still have Pinterest and I also, I'm also still watching YouTube, but I love YouTube and the people I follow are sort of slow living people. Um, you know, who sort of embrace the mundane and simple tasks in life, whether that's <laughs> cleaning, uh, gardening, just a simple slow life vloggers. Um, so yeah, and this will be my first vlog. I'm, I've decided, instead of putting it off, I'm gonna start actually doing the vlogging. I've contemplated so many times at starting vlogging um, and I'll video myself doing stuff and then I just, I watch it back and I'm like, no, I can't do this. And, you know, I can't promote this on social media and stuff, I'm not too embarrassed, blah, blah, blah. But actually, as I ha no longer have social media, I'm not doing it for that reason, I'm literally just doing it because, for fun. Cause I want it and I've got a lot of time to do it and why the hell not you know and for anyone that else is sort of going on a similar journey to me they might want to watch it they might not so yeah um but yeah I thought to start off today we'll just do a little slow living life with me I've already gone for a dog walk with Duke so that's done for today um however I have bought a brownie pack that I'm gonna bake so I thought you could follow me along for that. And please don't forget to like and subscribe if this is something, the sort of channel that you're into or you're on the same sort of wavelength vibe as me. I'm hoping I create some good content. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what that is going to entail yet. Uh, it'll probably just be like home vlogs or little things I do at home, going on walks with my dog. Uh, and just basic, again, basic tasks that I do around the house that I love. Um, yeah, I might do a house home tour if people are interested. There's certain areas I still need to do up and stuff, but um, yes, uh, please follow me on this journey if you feel like I'm someone you can relate to. <laughs> and let's go bake some brownies. Here's Chucky. Oh, having a little nap. You tired, hey? <laughs> He's not impressed. Okay guys, so I'm just terrible at baking, even though this is like a pre-made packet mix, whatever. Um, this is going to be the, the thinnest brownie ever. Like, this has got to be the thinnest brownie in the world because, yeah, it doesn't even fill the bowl. Like, 
and I've scraped as much as I can out there. People might be thinking like, no, there's loads in there, but I honestly can't scrape it with that. Probably could use a different utensil, but anyway, we're just gonna see how it turns out. Hopefully in the oven, it will rise or something, or get thicker, otherwise it's gonna be like a thin layer of sponge cake, I think. But hey, as long as it still tastes nice, that's all that matters. Shit bake it basically. I think I burnt the brownie and it basically I put it in there for the time recommended and then it said that I need to stick a knife in so it becomes that clean and it was completely gooey still. So I stuck it in for like another 10 minutes but now like the top bit's all like shriveled and weird. Um so yeah it's not boiling anymore, it's a bit warm. So I'm gonna give it a try tasting it and we'll see what it tastes like. Oh, this big bit here, guys. So we'll see what it tastes like. It's quite a big bit, actually. I don't know. Oh, it's alright. It's not that chocolate. Yeah. She says. Like, it tastes fine, but it doesn't really taste much like a brownie. So I just realized I might be eating my mouth open. Mm. Yeah, like, it's fine. It's fine. Like, it's edible. Mm. Nothing special though. Definitely need a hot drink though now. Yeah, nothing special guys. I'm really sorry about that. I thought it'd be better. I'll try and do better on whenever I next bake on a vlog. Probably never now. But um yeah. Shh. So I thought I'd finish the vlog here. Um I'm not really doing anything else for the rest of the day. I just gotta wait for Ryan to get back. Um and then we've got to go drop my car off at the garage because he's having an MOT and service tomorrow, so nothing exciting um but yeah and me and ryan are going to spa tomorrow i got him a spa day uh package for his birthday so we're going there tomorrow which i'm really looking forward to um, i probably won't video it though as i think it'd be nice just to sort of be in the moment and enjoy the day you know without having to focus on videoing but if you carried on watching and got this far i really appreciate you watching and if you like my content, then please like, comment and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Thanks guys, bye.